Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have our weekly security fixes rolling out for Microsoft Edge. And over and above the security patches that have rolled out, this is actually an important update because it does include two tweaks and adjustments, two minor new features that we've spoken about previously on the channel. But first of all, because we are dealing with a zero day that's been patched with this latest and these latest weekly security updates. To double check we have the update, we head to our main menu as always, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. Latest version sitting on 123.0.2420.81. So we're just dealing with a point release with this latest update. Now, first of all, once again, Microsoft has fixed various bugs and performance issues. That seems to be the norm now with basically every update they push out to the browser. And then the update also contains two Edge-specific security fixes, which are for the actual Edge browser. And those two are both spoofing vulnerabilities. And then we get the latest Chromium security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. And once again, just a quick recap on these. There are three high-risk vulnerabilities inappropriate implementation in v8 use after free in bookmarks and then we've got an out of bounds memory access in v8 which is a zero day so that's been exploited in the wild so that's a very important um, high risk vulnerability that's been patched and as many of you will know a zero day means it's out there it's current it's happening so um, double check your browsers up to date it's a worthwhile process at the end of the day now with the security side of things out of the way um, I hope you remember touch mode because touch mode was a feature that was causing a lot of issues um, a couple of months ago, about six months or so ago, where Microsoft pulled the feature and has now made a comeback with this latest point release. And if we head to our appearance page and we scroll down, here we get touch mode now, which as the name implies, increases the size of browser elements like buttons, tabs and more optimized for use with touch now this was pulled about six months ago as i posted because it was causing issues for some users and now seems to have made a comeback so we hope now that microsoft has fixed the issues with touch mode and just a quick recap it's off by default you can have it auto or you can have it on and as you can see when you turn that on when you turn that on everything is now adjusted for touch so we get thicker padding thicker title bar more space in between the toolbar um, buttons, the side uh, sidebar buttons, and so on. So, optimizes your browser for touch screens. So, just make sure that's off if you don't want the feature to be enabled. But it should be off because that's how it rolled out after the update was being applied. So, we certainly hope Microsoft has fixed touch mode um, because, as mentioned, they pulled that six months ago and that has now returned. And then the other one is regarding a feature that I really like, and I posted on this a day or so ago, when it was still in Edge Canary 125, which was a preview version. And we now have a visually redesigned page settings menu on the new tab page, which I didn't think would roll out so soon to the stable version. And I've seen this across all my devices. So this seems to be, as well as touch mode, seems to be now being pushed out to everyone. Um, once again in the stable version and I'm not going to talk too much on this because I did a video on this and I'll leave that in the end screen if you'd like some more info but the only difference I'm seeing between the page settings how it currently is in the stable version as to how it was when I posted when it was still being tested in Edge Canary is that the region and language and quick links was here at the top where they've put content at the top now background now and then region and language and quick links are at the bottom and then you've got you can customize your theme and you can show the weather and so on so i actually think that's nice because and um, these are little quick little thumbnails that give you the outlay of content visible content partially visible and headings only and i actually like the look and feel of this new menu and i'm i'm quite happy that they've rolled it out sooner than later to the stable version so as mentioned there we go quite a lot happening with this latest point release update five security fixes have rolled out for edge Touch mode is back and the new page settings, visually redesigned a menu has also now been made available. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.